Welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. I got fun news today. Uh, Swift is Jarrett Hurd, one of my favorite fighters to watch. Um, he's on the wall. I don't know if you can see him right over there. One of my favorite fighters to watch uh, is back March 4th. All right, he's coming back, middleweight fight. Uh, he wants all the smoke. We're going to start March 4th on that triple header. Uh, please let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. On all forms of social media, uh, quick hits come at you every day, twice a day, eight to ten minutes a day. Um, for you, latest grace boxing news and rumors, you don't come twice a day anymore. Um, and also, uh, please subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to autism research and recovery. Um, so it's very near and dear to our heart. But let's get into uh, today's show. So please subscribe to Text Box Scenes. One last thing. Let's get to today's show. Swift so Jared Hurt is back, baby. Um, it, it was four years ago that Hurd was considered an immovable object, a brute force, right? Um, he had won his world title in Alabama by stopping Tony Harrison. Then he came from behind to beat stop Austin Trout. Then he got fight of the year. Eh, he might have got the benefit of a real close decision over Arislan de Lara. Remember, then he got hurt at, that he had shoulder surgery. Um, and he came back and he took care of Jason Welburn in a couple of rounds in, in a tune-up comeback fight. It looked fine, looked good to go. I, I'm bringing that up for a reason. Was he ever fully back as that? Jason Welburn is a pushover. That's an easy fight. I'm not discrediting him, him for taking it. Right, it, it was a comeback fight of a serious injury. It's fine. But my question was, my question is, was he all the way back? Did he ever get back? Because his next fight after that, the whole world picked him to beat J-Rock. I remember I was at that fight. It was it was in the Eagle Bank Arena, which is outside of DC in Virginia. And uh J-Rock's trainer, Breadman, was talking to us in the media, and he asked. Who picked my guy? Who picked J Rock? You know, um, and he said, Who picked her to knock him out? Right? No one wanted to admit that they picked her to knock him out. So I raised my hand, right? And, you know, but, but my point is, right? Like everyone picked him, right? And everyone picked her to destroy J Rock to the point that even his trainer knew that no one in the media was giving him a shot. Was he back, though? I'm not going to discredit anything from J-Rock. I'm not taking it away from J-Rock. J-Rock dropped him in the second, came back, um, you know, took care of business, and I want a wide decision. Um, then things started to go weird for her, right? Um, he came back uh, not, you know, seven, eight months later against Francisco Santana. At 155 pound catch weight, which is which is weird. Um, Francisco Santana is a 147 pounder who's not very good, not at, at that level. And then Hurd boxed him from like a Philly shell. He was trying to box off the back foot, and it just got really strange. Like, bro, you're Jared Hurd. Get there, walk him down, mull him, beat him up, right? Um, then he was out of the ring. You know, COVID hit. Shortly after that, he's out of the ring a year and a half. He comes back in June of 2021. Um, and uh, he fights Louis Aries, someone he should destroy. He tries to rally late. He drops Aries in the ninth, but loses. He clearly loses. Good fight, competitive fight, but he loses to Louis Aries. That ain't great, guys. Um, and that was 
two and a half years ago. He hasn't fought since. Now he was supposed to fight in January. He had an eye injury, I believe. Um, he's back March 4th. That's the Figueroa card. It's showtime, triple header. It's good to have him back. He's not fighting the biggest name in the car, uh, in, in the world. Uh, but it's a call with Brandon Figueroa. It's got Amal Carvidal. Now it's got Jared Hurd on it. Um, he's fighting Jose Armando Resendez. He's 13-1. I don't know much about the guy. It's going to be good to see Hurd back. It, it's going to be good to see what Hurd is made of. Uh, how much does Hurd have left? Because, again, Hurd in his peak, Hurd in his prime, as short as it was, was one of the most entertaining fighters in the world to watch. He was just this brute force that just came forward, got hit a lot, broke it down, could take a million shots, and would stop you. He was a force at that weight class, and it was fun to watch. Um, and it's going to be good to have him come back now. I'm just hoping he's competitive. You know, the 160-pound division is an open division. He wants Big Charlo. He wants those names, right? And those are fights that can be made. If he wins this fight, wins one more, I would say let's put him in with Hurt. Let's put him in with Big Charlo. I mean, Big Charlo's got to get back in the ring. Something has nothing was going on two years now, whatever it's been. Um, the WBC lets him keep his belt. No, no, no shade to Hurt. Hurt. Uh, no, no shade to Charles. Charles on the wall too. Good friend of the program. Um, but what I'm saying is, Hurd's a guy that everyone likes. He's entertaining and at his peak. And he's only 32. So yes, he's not young anymore, but he's not old and washed either. He still has some spring left, in that, like especially really not having fought much in four years. He's got a lot of rest. Yes, and I, I say give him two tune-up fights. Let him work his way back to take a real easy one. You know, in this one, take a you know a little mild take a take a, oh, a big step up. But you know, I'm not saying fight a, a world beater in your next fight. You know, fight fight a legitimate guy, and then just take it one step at a time. One step at a time. Um, I, I think you know you take those two steps, you, you, you you're ready. Do they want to put him in with Amalcar by Dow? That'd be a fun fight. They put him on the same card? Do you think they could do that next? Heard versus Amalcar by Dow next? That'd be interesting. That'd be a lot of fun. Um, maybe. I don't know. But the 160 pound division isn't super loaded. Right? I mean, it's not a bad division, but it's not a super loaded talent rich division like 115 or 47 or, or 35. There's good fighters in it. You know, Adamez, or a match with Laura, you know, um, you know, there's some guys there he could fight. Montiel, right? There, there, there are names there. I'm just going through it right now. Yeah, it's, not, it's really not the best division. Jason Rosario is there. Is that interesting, guys? You know, um, but obviously, you know, little Charlo, I think, will be up there. You know, I, I think realistically, he could fight little Charlo. Um, you know, all Hurd has to do is get himself in with one of the sanctioning bodies. Pick one. Doesn't matter. And um, WBO, let's say. Get himself in with WBO. Get himself ranked WBO. Win a couple of fights. And then when Hurd moves up, I mean, when Charlo, little Charlo moves up to 160, you know, fight each other in an eliminator or something, right? Like, it won't be that hard for him to to move up, right? And, and especially with... Little Charlo's rank, you know, with his status as being undisputed, undisputed no matter what um, division Charlo wants to pursue at 160, Little Charlo wants to pursue at 160, which he's probably going to avoid the WBC because that's where his brother is, um, he's going to have a fast track there, right? So if I'm heard, I, I just kind of pursue that, right? Like I, I try to get ranked in that sanctioning body, be a couple of their top 15 guys and move myself up like that. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumor. Please subscribe to the other channel as well, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's February 2nd, 2023 uh, from Texas. 
to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.